Welcome back guys. In our last video, we looked at how we can pass parameters to our GraphQL query and also pass variables so that we can have some dynamic part to the query and based on the variable, the query results were changing, right? Now, in this video, we are going to handle something which is called as mutation. So if you see right now, all our queries that we have covered so far, we're starting with query. So query, if you are aware of database queries like MySQL or you know Postgres, something like that, you will understand that these are very similar to the select queries. We are saying that this these are the fields that I want from this table and with certain parameters. And then what the database does is understands your query, create that plan of you know, fetching the data, and then it returns you a result based on what you had requested for but in any of these queries we haven't done any kind of operations which can result in an insert or an update or a delete right so when we have these kind of operations in graphql these are basically done using something called as mutations mutations are a way for you to send data and then expect some action to be you know, happening in the backend. So this API has quite a few interesting mutations which we can explore and understand. So let's get started and see what are the different ones. So I'll open up a new tab over here and let's look at the docs. So we have queries and then we have mutations. Now these are mutations where a customer related information is required i know this because i have been exploring this api so why don't we first try and create a customer so the mutation which will allow us to do that is register customer account let's look at the different parameters which are available over here there's a lot of stuff in here which is very typical to how you know the e-commerce platform will work but if you go down you will see that we you have union details you have register customer account result, which is equal to success, missing password, password validation, native auth strategy. Why? Because this mutation is expecting a parameter or argument, which is of you know, type input. And uh, I mean, which has a key input and that type is register customer input, which means we need to understand what is the shape of this input to be able to register a customer. And can you see, it says that the register customer account result is what we are expecting. And this is the union type. This is where we have success, missing password, and all these four kinds of result is possible. Okay, so before, so let's start writing our first mutation. Like we used to do query, over here we will do mutation. Let's name our mutation. And in this, we will do input because that's the parameter that is expected. And this is going to be an object. So let's see. We have email address. Then we have what? Uh, title. Okay. One thing which I want you to understand is in here, can you see there are one, two, three, three, six. Six parameters can be passed, but the email is literally the only thing which is required for you to you know avoid i mean go ahead with the validation check right but still let us pass everything and ensure that you know everything is working properly let me prettify it still not taking it in the next line okay, i'll do that this is becoming a bit difficult to understand okay now what will it do still not prettifying it never mind okay so we have email title first name last name phone number and the last one is password like so so the basic input parameter is ready this is fine but then we want the result as well and because it is of type union and we can get multiple kinds of result you will need to define what is going to happen on certain kinds of result 
expected okay so for example what i need to do is i need to say that on success i need to see the success okay is this no okay this is only the success message so that's it on let's say missing password error i want to see the error code and i want to see the message like this you will have to define all the situations which as are these on force different types what you want to display okay so let us do that quickly all right so this is how our query finally looks this is rather the mutation okay let me see if i can prettify it yes now it is understanding the stuff okay right so as i said this mutation has quite a few things happening over here it, this is the name of the mutation where we are expecting an argument where the key is input and this is the shape of that input object we have email which is a mandatory field title first name last name phone number and password so this is what is going to go to the password uh, sorry the server as let's just say a post variable okay and when we get a response back we saw that there there was a union and so we had to define the different cases on which what we are supposed to show for example on success i'm just going to show the success key and if you want to go a little deeper you will see that success is basically a boolean value it will send either true or false okay and we have you know the errors where it is very standard they show the error code and a message okay now before we register we need to look at the admin interface i'll open that up demo.vendio.io the admin ui will run on this credentials you can basically play around with it and we have customers where we have only two so now if i fire this query can you see it gave me a success equals true and this is of type register customer account so that's fine if i refresh over here i have my new user which is registered and i can see the entire information which i posted is here now the only thing which is not available right now is for some reason i'm not able to verify the user okay and this is something which i know because i play around with this uh, api a lot and what has basically happened is this is the email verification state which you need to pass so we have registered a user but we haven't clicked on any link or something like that to confirm that the email which i entered is a valid one i have access to it for that we have one more mutation let's quickly look at that let's look for verify verify customer account result so in here i can i need to pass the token which is a mandatory argument the password is an optional one and verify customer account result is what i will get as a result so there are so many you know different situations which i need to handle okay but i'll keep things simple for now how do i get the token first is something which we will look at but let's first write our mutation verify customer account token and then we will have only on current user identifier now let's get the token now i know there is an email ui which gives us the token but somehow i was not able to get it from there so one hack which i found is this dashboard gives you all the you know jobs which were executed which is a nice thing actually so in there because the email was sent or there was a concept of sending an email although it doesn't reach to the exact account it's a demo app so this token is very available to me so i have copied it if you want we can do strings like this 
and token is going to be like this so we are passing a query variable where the token is coming and that will go inside the mutation now it is showing some error let me see what happened variable string is not defined oh my bad hmm now what variable token of type string used in position expecting type string okay so this is mandatory right you know this is one more thing about graphql it is so type strict that you it is very difficult to go wrong in these kind of situations okay now i got id and identifier which is part of our current user which means this worked so let's go to the admin interface okay so there is one thing which you need to understand that because i verified my account right the session for this user got created inside the shop api and so the admin session stopped or it got cleaned up so i will log in here again which would then mean that this session is gone but then i can go into the customers and i can see that my account is now verified right so yeah that's about it guys that's how we have you know mutations that's how we play around with the you know different mutations available in an api and do certain kinds of behaviors in the application right so we registered a user we verified that user as well and these are the two mutations we experimented with so if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel